Hi everyone, welcome to Thomas Brown Coaching. It's been a while since I posted my last video. Uh, I suppose a lot has happened over the past month and a little bit um, that kind of distracted me from making videos. And it was very positive actually, a lot of things have happened. I'll probably go through that in a later video, but not today's one. <laughs> no, look out for that one, I guess. Um, today's video is actually about reconnecting with your inner child and it's something that I feel very strongly about it's something that I've done over the past few months is to reconnect with that inner spirit um, to connect with something that is very nice and very positive and I suppose just exudes kind of happiness and playfulness you know um, I found that in order to to reach a positive point or a, a point where I feel mostly kind of positive feelings. It was actually one of the most important things. And I didn't realize it in the beginning was to actually connect with my inner child again, um, to feel that playfulness, to actually kind of go back and see what made me, what actually I suppose, what I enjoyed about life when I was younger and to try and bring that into now, you know, um, it's kind of like going back to the primal elements almost, but in a different way. It's like looking back at when I was a child, when I had very little things to worry about um, and what in those moments of being a child made me happy. <laughs> and it really, yeah, it really changes the game for me to actually go back and observe that and to bring it into now. So some things that I really liked doing as a kid were very simple things, like very simple things, and it can be applied now. So for instance, laying on the grass and just making shapes out of clouds, you know, it's a very simple one. And uh, I, I suppose many of us would have done that as kids. Um, and how many of us actually take the time to do it now? And it doesn't take that long, you know, on a nice day, just to lay in the grass, look up into the sky and to make shapes or find animals out of the clouds is a very nice one. To just play, play a game, you know, just play like board games or something like that. Um, take a few minutes or an hour or so, or even 30 minutes doesn't have to take that long with friends and just to play board games. You know, uh, simple board games. Um, but I suppose, like, for me as well, to find things that kind of make me happy and to do on my own was the big thing. And to to kind of spend some time each day and bringing that in. So, like, another one would be just, like, painting. Just, like, playing with paint. You know, it doesn't even have to be painting. I don't even have to purposely paint something. It's just to play with paint <laughs> I like that or just play with like um, anything in a creative way I remember I used to make like uh, frames for pictures out of pasta in school I remember actually very much enjoying that and when I was in my first year of college when I was studying design uh, one of the things that we had to do was make um, at the very beginning, like the first two weeks, just the introductory thing to kind of make you feel relaxed was to make bridges out of spaghetti and to glue them all together and, you know, uh, to, glue, to glue the spaghetti together to make this bridge and then you'd put something on it to see if it was load-bearing or not. <laughs> no, it was it's a very interesting thing to make you feel kind of excited and relaxed and playful, you know, these things. And they... they you know, it doesn't take an awful lot. It could take just a few minutes of going back and finding that inner child and uh, playing tricks on people is another one that I enjoy doing. Uh, and that brings a lot of joy, playing little tricks on, like, family members and stuff like that. Um, and just laughing at myself, you know. Um, yeah, what can you do to kind of reignite your inner child and how can you do that on a regular basis, you know? Like the the clouds one is a very simple one. It, on a nice day, I can just go outside and just lay down and to go back into that mode, you know? Um, 
doesn't take too much effort for me, but it really helps me relive it for a few moments and to realize that things that don't have to be all serious all the time. And, you know, really they don't. And to, in order to, let's say, look at things in an exciting way, if we're pursuing something new, yeah, bring in your inner child, make it playful, make it fun. It doesn't have to be so serious, you know? Make what you're doing as fun as it is as it was when you were a kid doing whatever you were doing <laughs> at the time. And you'll change your whole perception on what you're doing. It has to be, you know, if you it has to be kind of fun for you, I guess, if you're gonna stick with it. How can you bring the fun element into what you're doing and what you want to achieve? Um is there any way that you can turn it into some sort of game for yourself. Like that's what I, when I'm looking to do something new, that's almost what I think I'm going to do next is how do I turn it into a game to make it kind of fun and exciting? Um, to make it, yeah, something that isn't, isn't, let's say, necessarily needed, but it's something that I want to add in just to add an element of excitement, um, add an element of fun. And sometimes I guess, you know, when we include money in things, it like takes out, <laughs> money automatically takes out the element of fun, but it doesn't have to, you know, that's the thing. Even, um, it, yeah, just because someone's paying for something doesn't mean that the fun has to come out of it, you know? How can we make money fun? Even? How can we see money in a different way that it's fun to us to perceive? Uh, fun for us to want to earn more and to be successful. You know, it's like, it doesn't all have to be very serious. So, yeah. Um, as usual, please like, share and subscribe. If there's anything you would like me to talk about next, you can add it in the comment section. Um, if you would like to try a one-to-one -one session with me even, you can find my details on www.thomasbrowncoaching.com. And yeah, um, all the information should be there. And otherwise, <laughs> find your inner child, find what you like to do when you're younger and try to reconnect with that more and see what comes from it. You know, it could be very interesting, could be very productive. And more importantly, and most importantly, it could be very fun. Yeah. So until next time, I hope you have a very pleasant week and a very pleasant day ahead. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.